everyone my name is arvind my name is arvind and uh, i'll be walking you through the primary key profiling for informatica test data management 952hf2 we can see how we can set up uh, the primary key profiling and run it and also monitor it the agenda for the video is this to begin with let's uh, go ahead and see how you want to set it up once you are done let's see how to run a profile monitor the same in test data management workbench and then in the admin console as well so at the very end let's also verify the results now let's jump on to the demonstration so what you are seeing now is the informatica's test data management workbench this is a simple easy to used web based graphical user interface so before we run the profile we need to go ahead and set up profile so for that uh, we need to go to the admin tab so once we go to the admin tab we can uh, specify the parameters using which we can uh, set up the profile so go to the preferences and uh, to configure profiling inside of tdm the first step you need to do is you'll have to make sure that uh, the data profiling is enabled you can uh, do that by going going to the administrator and preferences sub tab and changing uh, the enable data profiling to yes and once to once you do that the next step is to go ahead and uh, specify which which mrs and dis you're going to use so you can click on this uh, plus button to add another mrs or dis and uh, it will specify the list of domains that you have uh, that you already have and uh, clicking on add would uh, add that particular uh, dis as well so once we do that the next step is to go ahead and uh, run the profile so for running the profile go to the discover tab click on um, the new profile icon and uh, let me name it as key profile let me choose primary key and uh, let me ch click next in here i can add the tables let me add uh, employee employee to uh, let me add just employee so we are going to see the primary key for this particular table clicking next i have the options to override uh, what you call as a primary key so the minimum confirmation percentage is 99 you can um, change it the way you want and you can also see the maximum key columns and maximum rows let me make it to 50 so the profile will run a little fast and save it once you save it the next step is to go ahead and run it let me go ahead and quickly execute it here let me choose the source one thing that should be uh, that you should be noticing is this source name should be the same as the connection name so that is a mandatory thing if you give a different connection name it's not going to run let's execute now so once we click on the execute button going to the monitor tab let me refresh it so you should see that uh, the workbench has uh, started the profile job and uh, it is kicking in and uh, you can monitor the profile in two places one is inside of tdm another one is inside of the admin console go to the monitoring tab click on the domain that you are using a uh, domain in which the da is configured click on actions and uh, click on global settings so this should um, uh, you have to configure this for you to be able to monitor the profile from within uh, uh, the admin console so once you do that you should be able to monitor the jobs so you can see that the uh, profile job is running so it's running let's also see the profile job that is running here so there are two places where you can uh, monitor it for discrepancies or uh, or any errors per se and uh, once this job is complete let's also look into the results so go back to the profile tab click on the key key profile property or the profile name so once you do that go to the primary key profile tab and uh, if you see it should uh, provide you with uh, what you might think as a primary key what might be a primary key so by clicking on verify button you can run the profile across the entire data set when we run the profile uh, we usually do don't uh, run it on entire data set so uh, verification will uh, do that on the entire data set that way you can uh, uh, make sure that the uh, uniqueness is consistent across your data and uh, also if you want to approve it just go ahead and uh, approve it so before approving it let me show you the employee table and uh, employee two table and if you see the columns uh, Uh, there is one logically discovered if you approve and uh, employee one table column doesn't have one okay so by clicking this and then um, approving it will uh, create a key here which will say okay it's uh, logically discovered like this 
So this way you can go ahead and quickly add uh, keys at the application level. This brings us to the uh, end of the demonstration and if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to us. You can reach out to us at uh, supportvideos.informatica.com or you can reach out to us through our Twitter handle https uh, twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you for your time. You all have a great day. Goodbye.